Hello everyone. We welcome you to another interesting video of fellow experts. Today's video is about the New Manila International Airport. The New Manila International Airport, also known as Bulacan International Airport, is an international airport under construction on the coastal area of Bulacan, 35 km north of capital Manila. The project was proposed by San Miguel Corporation and is said to help decongest Ninoy Aquino International Airport, the main gateway to the capital for air travelers. The proposed airport will be built on a 2500 hectare coastal property as part of an envisioned 12,000 hectare township that features a residential zone, government center, sea port and industrial zone. The 735 four parallel taxiways and two cross taxiways with a minimum width of 25 meter and with multiple exit taxiways and taxi lines will be developed. Vehicle parking will be provided at the ground transportation center covering an area of 148,700 meter cube. Vehicle parking will be provided at the ground transportation center with more than 4,000 parking slots. The new Manila International Airport is a proposed airport that is intended to serve as a second major gateway to Manila and the surrounding areas. The project is currently in the planning and design phase with the construction expected to begin in 2020 and the completion targeted for 2027. One of the primary goals of the new Manila International Airport project is to alleviate congestion at the existing airport which has been facing capacity constraints in the recent years. The new airport is expected to have a capacity of up to 100 million passengers per year which would make it one of the largest airports in the world. While the project is expected to provide many benefits, there are some concerns about its potential impact on the environment and local communities. Some groups have raised concerns about the displacement of communities and the destruction of the natural habitats in the area where the new airport is being planned. The new Manila International Airport project in the Philippines is expected to bring several benefits to the country, including increased capacity. The new airport is designed to accommodate up to 100 million passengers annually, which would significantly increase the country's aviation capacity and support its growing tourism industry. The second benefit offers is improved connectivity. The airport is expected to enhance the country's connectivity with the rest of the world as it is planned to be a major hub for international flights and a gateway to Asia and Pacific. The construction and operation of the new airport is expected to generate significant economic benefits for the country including job creation, increased investment and enhanced trade and commerce. The new airport is expected to relieve congestion at the existing airport which has been operating beyond its capacity and causing significant delays and inconvenience for the passengers. The new airport is expected to feature state-of-the-art facilities and technology providing passengers with more comfortable and convenient travel experience. Overall, the new Manila International Airport project is expected to bring significant economic, social and environmental benefits to the Philippines, positioning the country as a major player in the global aviation industry and supporting its long-term development goals. The new Manila International Airport project in Philippines is a massive undertaking and the timeline for the completion is still uncertain. The Department of Transportation and its partners were still conducting feasibility studies, environmental impact assessment and other necessary preparations to ensure the project's success. The government had set a target date of 2025 for the completion of project, but this timeline may be subject to change depending on various factors including funding, approvals and other challenges that may arise during the project implementation. Overall, the construction and completion of new Manila International Airport is a complex and time-consuming process that requires significant investment, planning and coordination. While the target date for the completion is 2025, it may take several more years to complete the project and delays or setbacks may occur along the way. San Miguel Corporation taped three international firms, Group ADP, Menhard Group and Jacobs Engineering to build and design the airport. The Dutch dredging firm Boskales Westminster was selected for the development of approximately 700 hectares of land for the new airport. 
By June 2021, preparatory work was in progress with the land development project expected to be completed by end of 2024. SMC will provide the full funding of $12.57 billion for the construction of new airport, which is a key component of the company's master plan to build an aero city comprising an airport and city development in the region. The project's land development phase obtained an export credit insurance of $1.6 billion from the Dutch government. The ECI was granted to the Royal Boscalis Westminster a dredging and maritime infrastructure company through Autradius Dutch State Business to finance land development work at the project site. According to the news report from Feb 2021, the estimated budget for the new Manila International Airport project is approximately $12.57 billion. That's all for today. I hope you will enjoy the video.